Hey guys, it's Rob Seabock with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. I've not been feeling well because of that. In this video, Uncle Dan is going to be walking us through his experience using the Zoom feature on the iPad. Hey guys, it's Uncle Dan. So basically when you are short-sighted, it might be difficult for you to use your iPad, especially when you don't have your glasses or contact lenses. On your iPad, you have the accessibility settings that have a zoom feature for customizing your iPad so that you can use it without glasses. You can double tap with three fingers to zoom in or double tap again to zoom out. Scrolling, you use what's called a zoom controller. You have to turn the zoom controller on it's a circle that will appear on your iPad screen. You can also use the tiny bar at the bottom of your zoom window to move it around. On the zoom controller, you have options to change the colors. You can also change the idle opacity to dim it when you are not using it. If you tap on your zoom controller, go to resize lens. That's basically how you can um, resize this zoom window. If you go to zoom region, you have pinned zoom. You can pin that zoom window at the top or on the left, on the right, or at the bottom. You can also use full screen zoom. The whole screen will be zoomed. You can adjust the zoom level on your iPad. If you go back to your zoom controller, you can easily adjust the zoom level. The zoom filter can make your zoomed section look more visible. It can be inverted, grayscale, grayscale inverted, or low light. Smart typing automatically switches to window zoom and it focuses on what you are typing when the keyboard appears. Script works with follow focus, but you can actually get distracted because the window zoom automatically moves to focus on the text. I mentioned the first gesture, double tapping with three fingers to zoom in or zoom out. Long pressing the zoom controller will toggle the zoom window for a while. If I lift off my finger, it will disappear. Double tap the zoom controller and hold, then you can quickly adjust your zoom level. There are many gestures that I tried, but these were the most useful for me. From my experience, it is better to use the zoom feature for reading than trying to take notes. That's how I've been using this feature. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.